Hey, how's it going, everybody? Uh, back here for my Week 9 NFL preview. Uh, a couple of big games up. Uh, coming up for, for the NFL, a couple of uh, key divisional games, uh, rivalry games. Uh, starting off first, we'll, we'll start off with the Jets versus the Bills. Uh, keys for the Jets in this game is going to be um, keeping Mark Sanchez protected, uh, giving him enough time to make throws. Uh, it, when Mark Sanchez is protected, he, 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 um, he, when he gets time enough to go through his progressions, go through his reads, and, and make a throw, he, he's been great at that. So guys like Wayne Hunter is going to have to step up and match Lawson. Uh, they're going to have to be able to help protect him, especially especially Wayne Hunter, who, who's the right tackle, who's been struggling a, a lot this season except for a couple of games. But he's actually getting better, so watch out for him. Watch out for uh, Matt Wayne Hunter. But just keeping him protect, keeping Mark Sanchez protected to give him enough time to make throws. And also another key for them defensively is going to be stopping Fred Jackson, the NFL's rushing leader. Uh, if you can be able to stop him, uh, Bills like to Bills like to use him a lot. So being able to stop him, keeping him off track, keeping the Bills off schedule when it comes to their play call and getting them in, in second and long situations, and being able to, to get after the get after the quarterback early is going to be another is going to be a key for them. Players to watch out for for the Jets are going to be um, Ladamian Tomlinson. He, he's had a, he's had big games against the Bills, especially the last two years. Santonio San Holmes, can he get up? Can he get started early? And Aaron Maben, who the Jets have finally decided uh, he's going against his old team, but the Jets have, uh, have showed that he's actually at his best when he puts all four hands that when he puts his hand down in the ground and is a, is a, is a defensive end. The problem with his was he at during the Buffalo Bills they tried to use him as a stand up linebacker and it really didn't help out a lot for him. So expect him to make some plays back there, especially a pass rusher. He's to become their best pass rusher. Uh, key for the Bills are going to be in this game is stay balanced on offense. Use the play action pass a lot. Um, it's going to be key for them. So like I said, Fred use a lot. Of Fred Jackson's DJ spill in the run game. Uh, in a reverse game, just yeah, and run play fakes off those. Get that Giants def defense going one way and and play action and throw it deep, throw it deep and attack those safeties. Um, and also on defense, make the Jets one dimensional and have and force Mark Sanchez to make plays in the air. Uh, I think this Bills defense is the best, the, the best secondary in the NFL. 14 interceptions. They have nothing but ball hawks. Terrence McGee, Dre and uh, Florence, um, Jabr uh, George Wilson, Jarius Bird, who a couple of, last year had eight interceptions. Wilson has four interceptions. Leotis McKelvin. This is the best secondary in the old NFL. They don't, you know, they're not the sexy name that you want to see, but this is the best secondary in the NFL. They're just ball hawks. They make plays in the secondary. Uh, players to watch out for in this game for the Bills is going to be Scott Chandler, the tight end, Steve Johnson, the wide receiver, and Jerry's Bird, the safety. The one big key in this game is going to be the quarterback play uh, between Mark Sanchez and Ryan Fitzpatrick. Whichever quarterback plays the best, I think is going to be able to win this game. Uh, picking the Bills in this game, the Bills have always, it's been hard for the Bills to win against the Jets. And I think this is the year that they finally win this game. And also, if I think if the Jets lose this game, I think the playoffs are done for them. So, I, I, and I think this is the way for the Bills to to step on the Jets and crush the Jets. The one time they haven't, and just knock them out of the playoff race. And so, I'm, I'm picking the Bills in this game. Uh, moving on to the next game, the the Patriots against the uh, uh, the New York Giants rematch of the Super Bowl a couple years ago in 07, 08. Um, keys for the Giants in this game is. Needing to find them, getting a more balanced attack and running the ball, running the football effectively. Now they got some bad news. Ahmad Bradshaw is going to be out to four to six weeks. I'm hearing uh, he has a cracked bone in his foot, so that's going to be key. So guys like Brandon Jacobs, uh, Danny Ware, and probably the seventh round draft pick Darrell Scott is going to be active. So those three guys are going to have to find a way just to muster up a passing, uh, rushing game to be more balanced on this team, because the Patriots uh, are one of the worst NF defensive teams that we have right now. And also another key is going to be getting pressure on Tom Brady early and often. Um, the Giants have the the front four, the best front four in the league. Uh, Tuck, Human Yard, Jason Pierre-Paul, uh, Matthias Kiwanuka on third downs when he puts his hand in the ground. Chris Canny. So getting getting after him early and often is going to be a key for them um, as well. Players to watch out for for the for the Giants in this game is going to be Victor Cruz, the slot wide receiver who's really coming on. Brandon Jacobs, like I said, uh, is going to help out in the running game. And Michael Bowley, the linebacker, who's going to have to help out in guarding those tight ends and uh, Rob Gronkowski and Aaron Hernandez. Um, keys for the Patriots in this game is uh, running the ball, running running the football, like the Giants, having a balanced attack, protecting Tom Brady, keeping him, keeping uh, keep keeping him upright, 
and, and it, keeping him in, in his spot. So running the football and not having that giant defensive line pinning their ears back and just and just uh, attacking Tom Brady and putting pressure on him. And also for their defense is going to be causing turnovers. Eli Manning hasn't hasn't thrown a lot of interceptions, but if they can find a way to get their hands on the football in the passing game, that should be a key, the big key for them. But Patrick Chung and, and they also have ball hawks as well, uh, finding a way just to cr cause turnovers. Players to watch out for in, in this game for the uh, New England Patriots are going to be Aaron Hernandez and Rob Gronkowski did the the tight ends form that they like to use a lot, especially in this type of game. And um, Andre Carter, the defensive end, who's coming on as a pass rusher for this team. Um, the one big key in this game is going to be third down conversions. Uh, so when I say third down conversions, can the, can the Giants use what the the, pay, the Steelers did last week, getting in third and manageable situations and having Eli Manning convert on those third downs and keeping Tom Brady off the field and vice versa? Can can the... Uh, can the Tom Brady just keep get keep getting third downs, and and finding a way to uh, and just stay on the field and keeping that Giants defense tired? So third down conversions is going to be big in this game. I'm picking the Patriots only due to the fact of I don't I cannot see Coach Bill Belichick and Tom Brady losing two games in a row, and Tom Brady hasn't lost in over five years in in uh, in New England at home in Foxborough. So as me being a Giant fan, I hope I'm wrong. But I, I just really think that the Patriots are going to come out and they're going to beat the Giants. Uh, moving on to the Sunday night football game, uh, Ravens versus the uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. Keys for the Ravens in this game is they're going to have to do a better job protecting uh, Joe Flacco, especially on that offensive line and running the football a lot. Uh, if you like to see, everybody's been talking about Joe Flacco and he's really been struggling. And yes, but you also have to look at the Monday night game and even last week's game, a couple of weeks now, is going on that offensive line really hasn't been playing the way they're supposed to be playing. And they're going to have to find a way to, to protect this guy better and run the football uh, a lot more. Um, another key for them defensively is going to be uh, keeping uh, Ben Roethlisberger from making plays with his legs. Uh, he's a big guy. He likes to stay in the pocket a lot, but he can make plays with his legs and on the run and throwing on the run. So keeping him standard, keeping him stationary in one spot and bringing him down is going to is gonna be uh, big for this Ravens defense. Players to watch out for in this game for the Ravens are going to be Ray Rice, Ed Dixon, the tight end, and outside linebacker slash uh, defensive end uh, Terrell Suggs, who's going to be, I think, a pass rushing nightmare for whoever plays tackle. And they're going to probably need a, 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 a linebacker or a running back or a tight end to help to help chip Terrell Suggs. I think he'll live in the backfield. Uh, but the keys for the Raider, uh, for the Steelers in this game is going to be spreading the football around, spread this offense out, spread the football around the different receivers, to Heath Miller, Antonio Brown, um, Emmanuel Sanders, Hines Ward, uh, Jer uh, Jericho Cotri, and just and just and just Mike Wallace, just spreading it around, spread the defense out, and, and just. Have, have the Ravens play in space. And also, stuffing the run. Another key point is going to be stuffing stuffing the run early and just make Joe Flacco beat you through the air with his arm. And that's going to be two keys. Those are going to be the keys for them for victory if they want to win this game. Uh, players to watch out for in this game is going to be Heath Miller, uh, Lawrence Timmons, and Troy Palomalu. The one big key in this game is going to be explosion plays. Which team is going to be able to, to muster up enough explosion pay, plays, especially in the passing game? If you look at Mike, uh, if you look at Mike Wallace for Pittsburgh, him and Ben Roethlisberger, he he's the I think he's the most explosive player that we have right now in the league at wide receiver, especially when it comes to taking the top off the coverage and, and just stretching the field and scoring touchdowns deep. And on on the other side, you have Torrey Smith for the Baltimore Ravens, who are, who's a guy who's a guy who likes to stretch the field out a lot and use his speed as well. So explosion plays are going to be the key in this game. Um, I'm picking the Ravens again. I just think the Ravens are better than the Steelers. Even though the, the Steelers are going to be mad about that ups, that, that beating that they took in week one, I'm just taking the Ravens in this game. I think the Ravens are just a better team than, than the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, moving on to the last game, Monday Night Football, the Bears. Chicago Bears against the Philadelphia Eagles. Keys in this game for the uh, Bears is going to be protecting Jay Cutler. you got to keep him protected, keep him upright in this game, let him get the ball out of his hands and make plays with his arm. And also another key is going to be stopping LaShawn McCoy in that running game. And once you start thinking, once you stop McCoy in that run game, now you can now you can focus on Michael Vick and and keeping and learning to contain him. But players to watch out for in this game is going to be Julius Peppers, uh, Brian Urlacher, who's going to be who's going to be key in his run game, and, and Devin Hester, who's also going to be a big key that I'll talk about later in this game. But another uh, for the Eagles, keys in this game is going to be LaShawn McCoy. He's going to have to run the football, get him involved early and often, get him early success. 
the Eagles' success in this game and throughout the rest of the season is going to be on the way LaShawn McCoy plays football. If he could play at a high level, especially running the football like he has in the past couple of weeks, I don't see a, 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 a offense. This offense is really, really going to be explosive, especially when it comes to play action pass with Michael Vick and worrying about Michael Vick and now LaShawn McCoy in the backfield. And also another key for them defensively is is um getting sacks on color. They got this, this Bears offensive line is uh hard, really bad, horrible. I think they lead the league in sacks. Uh, that Y nine defense with those book ends are going to be getting after Jay Cutler. So getting sacks on Cutler and just and just rattling him early and off. Well, not really not rattling him, but making him hold on to the football a little bit longer with your coverage should help also help out getting sacks, being getting covered sacks or regular sacks. By the way, just find a way to get to Jay Cutler. Players to watch out for in this game is going to be Jason Babin, the defensive end, and Trent Cole. Both guys, they, they, they're, they're, they're sack machines this year. So expect those two to have big games with Jeremy Macklin. The one big key in this game is going to be special teams. Who is going to be able to make big plays in the special teams department? Uh, Jeremy Macklin and Deshaun, Deshaun Jackson for uh, the, uh, the Philadelphia Eagles are going to be key in this game, getting field position or scoring. Either way, or like I said earlier from earlier, Devin Hester. Devin Hester is going to be the main key in this game. Uh, do you kick it to him? The, the best returner in the, in the National Football League history. Uh, you kick it to him is dangerous on kickoff and punt returns. But I think special teams is going to be a way, is, is going to be the big key in this game to find out who wins. I'm picking the Chicago Bears in this game. Uh, I, I, I just have a feeling that they, they're coming off a of bye week. Um, I think Mike Marsh is going to be prepared for this this Y9 defense. Expect to see Matt Forte get a lot of screens in this game, a lot of screen game, a lot of draw should be uh, uh, um, should be called in this game. And I think that I, I just think that maybe Devin Hester is the key to this game and makes a makes a big play in the special teams on offense to help this team win. So I'm picking the Bears. So my winners this week are the Buffalo Bills, New England Patriots, uh, the Baltimore Ravens, and the Chicago Bears. Let me know what you guys think. What games are you interested in? Um, subscribe to the top of the page as well. Leave your comments below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.